happened to you? Come on here, sit down. Rommel, my God, what happened to you? Lois, call a doctor. Bob, will you take it easy? I'll get something to clean you up. <laughs> lousy motel for two weeks. I gotta get out. I can't breathe, Cooch. If I stay here any longer, the cops are bound to find me. Look for a place I can hide. The, the mountains, maybe. Anywhere. Just get me out! What are you planning to do? Kill him. We talked to the police and they're out looking for J.C. now. It's their job, Rommel. Let them handle it. It may be their job, but what have they done so far? Nothing. You've got to snap out of it. Look, why don't you come back to work so you can get your mind off of it? You ever read the Bible, Luke? There's an old passage about an eye for a... Hi. Right. 
You ever read that one? They're gonna bust you wide open. Funny thing about that book. It contradicts itself. One minute it tells you to turn the other cheek. Then it tells you to take an eye. I guess it depends on which end you read. Problem. There's nothing you can do about it. Like I said, it depends on which end you read. a couple of boys. They're willing to ride with us. But there's one little problem. What's that? They're short on funds. They don't care what they do. As long as they get paid for it. I need some money. What for? I'm buying myself a little help. Still gonna go after J.C., huh? Yeah, that's about it. But if you think I'm going to finance your war, you're nuts. Hey, Luke, come on. I want to talk to you. Now, I'm not asking you to get involved. I'll give you a note to my part of the shop so that if anything happens to me, you can still get your money back. I don't give a damn about your part of the shop. If anything happened to you, your part of the shop wouldn't mean a thing to now, me. Now, look, you can go fussing and hollering all day long. It's not going to change my mind. Now, either you help me or I'll be looking someplace else. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to look someplace else. All right, I will then. <laughs> 